Hi, this video is about an item that I've been looking to buy from a US seller on eBay for quite a while now. Uh, finally found one. Um, it's a OLED display. I've got quite a few OLED displays, but this one is a full color. Uh, it's a 0.95 inch display, uh, but it's full color, uh, which is not that common. Um, so I'm just trying to open this single-handed, which is really difficult. As you can see, I'm struggling. I actually hurt myself. Um, yeah, so it looks very similar to the other displays I have, which are monochrome or two colors. Uh, they are some with yellow and blue. Um, but this one supposedly is full color, so let's have a look. It'll be interesting to see what the resolution and quality is like. So there you go. I finally managed to kind of open the packet and hopefully I can get it out. Let's see, single-handed, not easy. There we have it. Yeah, it looks very similar, uh, other than the fact that the other displays I have are I2C interfaces. This is an SPI interface. Um, yeah, back looks pretty similar though. And let's open the front. Uh, now that's interesting is that the labels actually suggest that it may have an I2C interface. So you see the SDA and SCL, um, but I think it's mislabeled. So let me get it wired up and see if I can get it to work. I'll pause the recording for now and continue later. So I have the OLED display wired up uh, using the SPI interface, and I'm going to use the UCG lib uh, to drive the unit and I need to figure out which constructor to uncomment here um, as we know it is a 96 by 64 I believe it's this constructor that you need to uncomment and just checking yeah so the SCLK 13 data 11 yeah so this looks like the right one so I'm just going to try and let me plug in my Arduino. There we go, that's plugged in and I'm gonna compile the sketch and upload the code. So this is gonna take a while so I'll speed it up in the actual video. You can see it's compiled, so it's uploading. It's done uploading. So the sketch uploaded successfully. Everything seems to be working as it should. Uh, pretty impressed with the display. Uh, the colors are pretty vivid. The resolution is sharp for you know this size and this price of a display. Uh, the video doesn't really do it justice. Uh, to the naked eye, it looks much better than it does in the video itself. I'm very impressed. Uh, and the refresh rate is pretty good as well. You can see some flickering in the video, but that's what the camera is picking up, not what you see from the naked eye. It looks pretty sharp and uh, pretty impressive. Um, so this is just going to run through different graphic tasks, including some text test. Uh, running through the colors, um, yeah, it's it's really nice. I'm really impressed with this. So the labeling is incorrect. It's an SPI uh, interface to this display and not the I2C interface, uh, as some of the labeling may suggest. Driving this display is pretty straightforward. I'm using the UCG lib, um, which really simplifies uh, controlling uh, this display, both for graphics and for text. I know there's an Adafruit uh, library as well. I haven't tried that out. Maybe there's some additional features on there or maybe not, I don't know. Um, so overall, really impressed with this unit. Uh, I think I'll be using it in some of my upcoming projects. Uh, and I'll try and share those with you as well. Um, so that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked the video. I uh, hope this helps you in some way. Uh, if it did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more informative videos in the future. Thank you.